the do you see the cow? There's no, no. cow. Um, <laughs> first we have to vote for she inspiration from last time. Um, I vote for Ryan for attacking the leprechaun. Me too. Mm-hmm. And it was a good move okay, too. That, that's three votes. So that's enough. Yarrow has it. Sweet. I'm saying. I'm saying. I have to vote for myself for doing that. All right. Four. It's four the best thing that happened. Four to nothing. All I, right. know, I thought there were some pretty good moments. Last time you guys started mm. on your newest mission to investigate, but not enter the Torn Tooth Anomaly. And on the way, you saw a rainbow. And you investigated that rainbow, looking for the leprechaun's <laughs> gold. And you found the leprechaun's gold and the leprechaun. And you gave him a bottle of wine, which he drank. And then mm-hmm. shot him with a psychic lance. And then, <laughs> and then a bunch of wild boars appeared. And he gave him a shot. bottle of wine and then shot him with a psychic <laughs> lance. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play the music now. <laughs> I didn't even think about it like that. Funny. Initiative, initiative. Let's see. All right. The boars just appeared. Siren. Uh, the leprechaun is incapacitated until, I believe, the start of Yarrow's turn. Or maybe the end of Yarrow's turn. I guess it doesn't really matter. All that means is he can't take actions or reactions. <laughs> hmm. Oh. He, he is up a tree, so let me put that. I was like, okay. What did you say? He can't take what and reactions? Actions. He it's can't not, take it. It's not really going to matter because his turn is after Yaro, so he's not really going to miss anything. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to go attack this boar. All right. Oh, yeah, that, that absolutely hits. Uh, yeah. Did he die? Why does it say piercing slash poison? What? Piercing slash poison? Yeah, why does it say that? Because I've got a poison dagger. How is it poisoned? Um... But I don't know. 
It's a die. I don't know how to say that. Don't you There's have a, a, gem a green there? crystal and an orange crystal in it. Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. A dianium or something? Dianium. 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 I, I understand what it's doing. Dagger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's pronounced dagger, guys. Uh, you, it's uh, a dagger. Yes. Holy shit. And what do you think of that? Mm hmm. Oh. Now it's dead, right? Dad, dad? Just kidding. It's a big boar. You can highlight it with your mouse to see how hard it is. Near death. Could do that. Teresa, what do you think? I think it's near death. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you pass. Should I go kill him? Or should I go to a different one? Um, are you asking Travis or Nelios? Mm, I'm asking Cyrene. Um, I mean, do whatever you want. If you want to kill it, kill it. If you want to go kill something else, that's okay, too. <laughs> really well thought out response in the heat of the battle. <laughs> I'm calm, cool, and collected, you son of a bitch. I might as well kill it, right? If I go here, do I have advantage? Probably doesn't even matter. You do not. Oh, okay. One more over? Would I, if I went here? Huh? No. Okay. okay. You would I'll need see. to be here. No. Okay. On top of the mushrooms. You're a mushroom. Uh, Got him. Mushrooms. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. I don't know. Judge? All right. I don't know who the judge is. Ed. As he got him. that boar dies, another one appears. <sighs> oh, well then. It's going to be like that. It is going to be like that. Like what? Uh, they all just gonna appear. Like every time we kill it, it's gonna appear. Oh no! She Maybe. Figured it out, didn't she? Okay, so we gotta kill a leprechaun. How, How old many is initiative when the turn is over? Forty feet. Oh, I can't your, go that far. Your movement thing shows how far you have left. No, I can't go. I can't get close to him. Uh, I guess I'm just stay here. Well, that was anticlimactic. Fuck him. Now we know. The combat <laughs> tracker is... Can't skip. Skip my turn. It's it... black for me. Okay. It is your turn. It is yeah, actually weird. It wouldn't let me. I have to maybe open it again. There you go. Delete itself for me and reopen it. Oh, really? Yeah. How do you reopen it? Right click the fist on the top right. Oh, right click, okay. <clears throat> to pop it out anyway. Yeah, that's what I meant. All right, I'm going to do a really big inflict wounds on the leprechaun, if I can reach. He's 15 feet up in the air, isn't he? He is. Yeah, fuck it, I'll just light you both of them. You're going to die, leprechaun. All right, um... <clears throat> Eleven, he fails. Nice. Take that. Okay. I wish I uh, flew up in the air first. Okay, that's gonna be a good turn. Alrighty. Uh, he's fifteen feet up in the air. Is that what that means? Yeah. Um. He's in the tree. Right, right, right. <clears throat> so, even if I fly at an angle towards him, is that still more than, still farther than 30 feet? 
Uh, like how do I how do I determine if I if I use my wings, what my angle is? Well, I mean, you're thirty five feet away from him to begin with. And well, then... I wouldn't go. I wouldn't land on his space though. Okay. It's definitely more than 30. Okay. I mean, I would say it's 40 feet since he's up 15. So it's probably better to just run there on this turn. Wait, does it take an action to do my wings? That might actually be good. Oh, that's bonus action. <clears throat> All right, well, that's fine, because I can do something else. Uh... All right, yeah, so I'm going to run to here. And I will use... He's probably good at that. Um, yeah, let's just cast Bane on the Leprechaun and then the two closest spores. What's the range on Bane? Um, 30 feet. Okay, the one boar is definitely close enough. Is the other one? It is exactly 30 feet away. He passed. They both fail. Yeah, I figured his charisma was really high. And remember that Bane is literally a picture of Bane. Picture of who? Bane from Batman. Is it? Yeah. Huh, I can't tell. Just like looks like purple spectral beams. I don't know. Blue picture of Bane looks like purple spectral beams. A picture on what? What picture are you talking about? Oh, the effect. Okay, I was looking at the square picture from when you cast it, like next to the word Bane. Oh, yeah, yeah I was looking at the same thing. I still see Bane there. <laughs> next to where? Um, or he cast it? Yeah, still see Bane. It, it's a blue thing. Or are you? Oh, you're just crazy. This is a bird situation all over again, isn't it? Batman. <laughs> um, I want to use a bonus action. Um, yeah, I'll use a fuck. I should have used this before. God damn it. I forgot I got this spell. Well, I'll just I'll just end there. That would have been perfect. What does Silas do? Oh, um, I guess I would tell him to hold off the boars. So he would just go to the closest one. Okay. And... I can do it. Silver claws. And a bite. Twenty five to hit with the claws and eighteen to hit with the bite. Okay. 
All right, the boar. Boar is going to charge Baruch. Um, yeah, I'll just take that, I guess. And then because he's charging, uh, you take another six damage and have to make a strength saving throw. You succeed. Uh, this one is going to take one step back and then charge Yaro to get the 20 feet. To miss. This one will do the same thing. Oof. That's a mess. Imagine it weaving. Yeah. Wow, three misses. Uh -huh. Your turn. Feel very good after that. Here they'll kill me next turn. Um but in the meantime, uh, I wanna hit the leprechaun with a fireball. And I assume I can just throw it at 150 feet range. I can just throw it uh such that it just hits him somewhere over this direction. Sure. I will. He's also 15 feet high, so. Yeah, so it's just kind of exploding in the air over that way. I don't want my temp. Destroy there. the tree. He fails. You with advantage. You can't make a saving throw. Now, that wouldn't fuck up the tree so that he would fall out, would it? Yeah, it would. It'd be flammable. Uh, I guess the, the tree would be on fire. Yeah, so he falls out of the tree. Ooh! Okay. Wow. He is now prone. You guys are beating the shit out of him. He takes another eight damage. I mean, Ryan is. <laughs> Yaro is. No one else has hit him. Really indestructible. Boris can't hit him. Fucking up that leprechaun. <laughs> I know. It can't be a hit. Allah. <laughs> Allah. Let's see exactly what I thought would happen. Um, give some inspiration. I think I'm close enough to anybody to do that. Yeah. Uh, since Nelios is by him, I'm going to say, Nelios, I know you can do almost as good as I can beat up that leprechaun. So Nelios is angry inspired by that. He's feeling competitive. So it's, so it's very inspired. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a musical note. I meant to hit this one. And that's it. I'm going to stay there because all these boars are on me. So. Thank you. Okay, the Bane boar is going to charge Nelios. Oh, these guys can't attack. They're the worst. None of them can hit. Alright, uh, the Leprechaun is no longer incapacitated. He's going to use half of his movement to stand up. <sighs> uh, now what can I do?
Uh, he is going to cast a spell. Um, uh, an encounter spell. Okay. Uh, you're within sixty feet of him. Yeah, I just measured. Okay. Exactly sixty. Um, so he's casting it at higher than third level. <laughs> okay. Um, so you need to roll a d20 and add your charisma. Okay. Uh, I'm going spell it. Okay. Let me mark it off here. The DC is just 10 plus the level. So when you rolled an 18, that was it. Okay. 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 All right. Um, and then got it. Mm, I guess he'll just stay where he is. Interesting. Yeah, okay, that's his turn. Uh so this boar will attack Silas. Okay. Another miss. And it's Irene's turn. Okay. I We'll attack this boar. Okay, you have advantage. Okay. Jesus. Cut it out! Mother. Uh, that also hits. Yeah, it does. Hey, Daphne. Okay, I guess I will. Mm. Um, don't know what I want to do. I'll just stab the boar in front of me. Oh, I forgot to roll this other one. Uh, he ended up last anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. And I'm going to move. He's on the ground, right? Yes. Okay. I'm going to move up here and stab him. Ooh. Oh, man, you crit. Yep. All right. Um, he's going to use his reaction. Um, and he's going to misty step 30 feet. Hmm. Uh, let's put him right here. So does that miss him then? No, he got hit. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm going to move. I'm going to follow him. Okay. And I'm going to use... Um... Hold on. It's in the wrong tab. And Action search, okay. Tab. Uh, miss. <laughs> Yeah, it hadn't mattered before because you guys were rolling every attack in the 20s or a saving throw that he would fail. All right. Okay. That's all she wrote. Why does he keep doing that to me? (laughs) 
It's so crazy how when it's Chris's turn, he has to take his microphone out of the styrofoam cup he leaves it in. I do. <laughs> uh, that was 10, 15, I'll go up. Feed, cell, inflict wounds on the leprechaun. Okay. Really, really hard. Okay. Can't wait. Take that. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that hurts. Um, yeah, I moved away from that boar, I think. So if you want to attack me, you oh, can. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 15, I have a 14. I'll use shield. Why does it say your armor class is 18? Because it's um, got the uh, uh, mage armor set. But I didn't cast it yet. I'm very so, confused. Uh, what is your AC right now? It's 14. Okay. So you shield. Alright. Don't know why your AC is wrong on your token. What's it say on my token? 18. It's got the 18 because it's 14 plus 4 for Mage Armor if it was active. But it's not. Okay, so why is your armor 8? Why is it 18 then? Because it thinks it's active. Why does it think it's active? Because I've made it think it was active. Why did you do that? Because I had Mage Armor on. The spell doesn't do it when you cast it? No. What the stat? Well, I guess I would. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what you, you go ahead and have your armor class wrong on purpose without a really good explanation. Uh, Nelios, you're up. Alright, I'll run up to the leprechaun. <laughs> All over the place. Uh, and I will attack. I can't remember if that hits or not. 18? Nope. Okay, I will attack again. Yep. And I will do a uh, Divine Smite. Okay. I will do it at level 2. Pretty low. Okay. Uh, Wolf will attack the same boar that has Bane on him. Uh, the wolf move up just a little bit after he attacks, and that's my turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, this one's going to attack Baruch. Can you reach me? Easily, yes. Missed. Really? You can opportunity attack it with Silas if you want. What do you mean, okay. really? It's uh, just... like 15 feet. I'm 15 feet in the air. Oh. Okay, then I attack Cyrene. God damn it. It missed! It's here. Who cares? <laughs> oh, Yarrow. Oh, yeah. uh, is it? The claws missed. Okay, so uh, 17 hits. Me. So I'm okay. class. I'll take 11 damage. Okay. You take it's... 10 damage. Miss. Miss. Now 
it's your turn. Mm-hmm. He goes next. I don't like that. Uh... Past cloud of daggers on him. Okay. Let me roll it here. Centered on, on him. Wow, that's terrible. On the damage. That was stupid. Uh, bonus action. There's no save, he just takes the damage? Yeah. Really? That's interesting. Doesn't do it for 44, it's not a huge damage. What level spell is that? Level 2. Hmm. That's interesting. Cast a higher, you get another 2d4. I guess heat metal is the same thing, there's no save. Uh, it is concentration, so I concentrate. Well, there is a save, but you take the damage either way. It's just a matter of whether you drop the weapon with heat metal. Uh, uh, bonus action, I guess I'll just... Uh, use Bardic Inspiration on... Oh, shit, I should have used Bardic Inspiration on my last attack. Daphne this time. Uh, they, if Elios can't do it, I know you can. Okay. And that's it. Uh, end my turn. Um, okay, he's going to cast a spell on Daphne. No! Uh, I'll, I'll counterspell him up again. Okay. Roll again. Okay. Jesus Christ. Nice. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nothing happens. <laughs> That's crazy. Saved me. We're really lucky. <laughs> Who's the lucky one? Yara or the Leprechaun. Okay, Serene's up. I I did have him take the six damage, Ryan. Oh boy. Jeez. Roll crit damage. Oh my Shit. god. <laughs> oh my god. What did you do to that? 37? I don't even know the total damage on the whole thing. 18 plus 18 plus 19. Holy shit. Wow. Oh my god. Killing so many boars. Wish that was on a leprechaun. That would have been sweet. Yeah. Okay. This is for the leprechaun. Damn. Yes. 
Damn. You went too well, fast. You could have used your bardic inspiration on the first one. Oh, okay. I'll use it now. <laughs> I always forget that I have that. What do I do for that again? I guess you can use it, but... It's a D8. A D8. It probably won't. Uh, no, because I think even if I use it on this one, it would only give me 18. Well, the natural yeah. one's a miss no matter what. Can we do a Bountiful Luck for that? Yes, you can. Bountiful Luck. Okay. okay. She uses a reaction. Daphne, you can reroll. Okay. That's still a miss. Okay, now I'll use the Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> Uh, what what Eight. do I roll? Eight. Twenty hits. He takes nine damage. Oh, Whew. He's still not dead. Nope. All right, hold on. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? My nine damage wasn't enough. <laughs> well, he's near death. <laughs> I know. I was just hoping. All right, I guess I'll use. I get it. I get it. I'm going to use the fire rune. Uh, let me see if he has advantage. Yeah, he does. He'll fail. Three damage, though. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, hold on. Don't move. Um, in response to getting hit, he is going to um, Misty Step. Okay, go ahead. Uh, reflect wounds on the leprechaun. Okay. I'm going to hurt you moderately. Miss. Very good. Very good, leprechaun. Somebody do something. I don't, I don't know if anyone can. Ryan can. Counterspell. Counterspell, Ryan. Party inspiration is what I'm referring oh, to. Oh, party inspiration. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'll go ahead and use it. I was like, I can't come to Not the waste. Miss. Oh, well. Damn. You suck. Good try. <laughs> you suck. You rolled. Uh, <laughs> this bonus. fucking guy. I don't have any bonus. Do I? You have your own inspiration? No. I use it trying to get buff. Very good. Um, can I move to the tree space? No. Okay. Unless you fly over it. But that'll give me too much movement, and I won't be able to reach anyway. So, okay. I'll like move. Me. Moving away from this first boar. Uh, yes, oh, my concentration's did. gone. Oh, there's nobody else beamed. That makes sense. That is my armor class. That hits. Yay! He got one. Okay. How much did I use to get here? Fifteen. Move away from the second boar. Oh man! Could this kill him? Not even close. Miss. And last five feet. Move away from that poor. <laughs> Miss. Okay. I will start swinging away. Miss. Damn. Okay. Oh, it's. Here you go. All right. I'll do another divine smite. I'll just be level one now. He only had four hit points. All right, well, then he's Yay. dead. Woohoo! 
All right. Well, no, he doesn't die. He drops to one hit point. Oh. Oh. He says, all right, enough. Who the fuck are you? <clears throat> oh, well, you've, you've bested me, which means that you've earned your reward. Ooh. You have your choice, uh, Mr. Dragon Person. Um, <laughs> you can either uh, make a wish, accept 10,000 gold, or ask for a magic item. Oh, um, the, the magic items you can ask for um, oh, shit. are a pl plus three armor, plus three weapon, a ring of water yeah. elemental command, a ring of protection, any eighth level spell scroll, or one oh, sovereign man. blue and one universal solvent. Wow. God damn. You're not making this easy on us. I get that solvent. I was like, yeah, money makes the most sense, and then he just needed a bunch of awesome shit. <laughs> well, it's not. It's it's up to you. It's not. It's not a party decision. You killed him. Oh really? Fuck. Yeah, that's why I was like, man, he's uh trying to get Chris to to be the one. That's interesting. Oh shit! It's one thousand six hundred sixty-six gold to everyone. Oh man, that's a lot of fucking gold. But like. Mm -hmm. Did he get to choose what weapon or armor for plus three? Or yeah. just oh wow. Oh so good. The gold can help everybody. Oh man. But the wish. I don't even know what I would wish for. Like, when he says a wish, do I get to have to use the wish right now, basically? Yes. Yep. Okay, fuck. I don't know what's in the realm of the possibility for a wish spell. Yeah, wish to set him free. Wish, wish for wish for one of the <laughs> the magic items to be duplicated. You'd have to be very careful in your, your wish, because he would be sneaky. Mm-hmm. Okay. Leprechaun's dishonest. I think I'm gonna just go with the gold. Are you yeah, standing I mean... next to the leprechaun? Yes. Alright! The pot of gold appears in his arms. He dumps it out all over you. And then disappears. All right. Putting 10,000 gold in the party inventory. There we go. Wow. Na -na 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 -na. Holy shit. Na -na -na. That's so much gold. Bitch. I don't know if my, I would have been selfish there. I just, I, I don't know. I mean, with that much money, we probably could buy some cool magic items, too. True, but those items are probably worth 10,000 gold, possibly, maybe more. Yeah. Plus three is good. Plus three is pretty fucking good. You don't see that very often. Oh well, made your decision. Yeah. Now I can fucking deck my wolf out. How am I what? doing this? <laughs> Fuck is that? <laughs> Covered in bling. Okay, well, good job, guys. I rolled like shit. You all rolled very well, and as a result, the leprechaun got his ass kicked. Yeah. That's Ryan fun. This counter spells. He rolls an 18 and a 19. Fuck you. I know. He's so good at this game. I assume they were probably pretty good spells, too. Uh, the first one was Dominate Person. Ooh. Um, the second one was Polymorph. Do you lose concentration? Do you lose concentration on a counter spell? No. Okay. Why would you? Yeah, so it sounds like a spell. 
You don't lose concentration just because you're casting a spell. Don't. You can. The rule is you can have one concentration spell. That's the rule. Doesn't have anything to do with what else you're doing. The only other thing that knocks out your concentration is if you enter a barbarian rage. Good to know. How do I see the? It's amazing that you didn't know that, considering you've been playing for four years. I'm a bit of a barbarian. What'd you say, Travis? I forget how to see the party money. Well, you can either open up your character sheet, go to the top right, and click party inventory, or on the top left, you can go to the person icon, token controls, and go down to the party inventory. I see. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. This was second half of day two. So day three, day four. Okay. Just before noon on the fifth day, um, you see a pile of something on the side of the road. When you get closer, you see that it's an oddly shaped pile of dirt. Um, this was Nelios' perception. My perception saw what? This was your perception roll. Oh, it's my turn to roll, is what you're saying. Nope, you already rolled. You got a seven. You did? You rolled last time. Oh, we all okay. rolled. Stop Next saying I oh see. when you aren't sure. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I don't remember the first time I said oh. Oh, it's my turn to roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this, stop, you're not allowed to say oh. Fine. No more <laughs> owing. I'm only eyeing from now on. What? Oh, everybody take a long rest, by the way. Yeah. E-I-E-I-I. E -I -I -I. <laughs> so is Nelio someone that sees the dirt, or can anybody have sp spotted it? Sure, anybody. There's some weird dirt over there. I Why thought too. That was a weird. Some just check pile it out. of dirt. Oh, I'm gonna go look. Holy shit! Right. I'm not gonna go. Oh, I'll go over to look at it. Okay, you walk over to look at it. Um, do you want to just look at it with a perception check, or do you want to like get real close? Mm. Is there a stick I can like poke it? Yeah. Yeah, I do that. Okay. <laughs> what, Teresa? I don't know. It's just so yarrow to be like, I'm gonna poke it with a stick. Okay. Uh when you poke it, there is this sudden horrible smell. Make a constitution saving throw. Oop. It's it's poop. All right, um, you are fine, and then two monsters burst from the ground on either side of the road. God. It's a flood. Also, the thing you were poking was also. Is what? Also a monster. Oh, okay. Um, Scary looking monsters. I'm trying to figure out if... I would never go anywhere if I lived in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm in the no. city and this is where I'll be. 
Go on a fucking road and you run into this shit? Everybody roll your initiatives. Certainly wouldn't be poking in any dirt mounds. <laughs> maybe you had magic powers, maybe you would. Maybe. Maybe not bardic powers. What? I don't remember where my initiative is. The fist. Click the dice. On your character sheet, it's under... She found it. She found it. She found it. She rolled a natural 20. On your character sheet, it's under attributes on the top right. Interrupt me. Alright. Uh, let me see. Cyrene! Bum, bum, wow. bum. You're first. So good. That's me. Uh, what are you attacking that thing? Okay. This, this little uh, creature. Uh, got it. This, this little boy. Um, 21 absolutely hits. <laughs> A 13 misses. You guys didn't hear it, but she lauded a very loud, high-pitched squeak when you said it. Yeah. <laughs> I heard her from the, my office. <laughs> I'm not even in the house. <laughs> Did you back away from it? She can do that. I can do that. Please don't yell at me. That's I'm very sensitive. Things. It's one of her things? Remember she can when she hits oh, a creature right. she can <coughs> right. Oh my gosh. I've only put my pants a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you move away? He's gonna eat you. He's gonna eat your face. Uh actually what he's gonna do is he's gonna go right here. <laughs> and Thunderbolt. He's going to spew acid. Oh, no. oh my! Baruch, Daphne, Silos, Nelios, and Yarrow. Everybody but Cyrene. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> Oops. Oh, it got me. <laughs> ah! My, my face! <laughs> I'm being two faced. Uh, you said it hit me, right? I have to do one? Yes. No. I mean, yes. You're in the line. Joe, how do I... What's the what's the quick key to, to move my character below Z. or above? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what's the... What's the, what's the, what's the <laughs> Z. I'm, okay, glad you, uh, I'm glad you deciphered that from my mumbling. Okay, everybody take your damage. I did. Oh, I didn't. Yep. Yeah, like nobody did, so... I did. Yeah. Nobody. <laughs> wow, you don't exist. Silas. Wait, how much damage? Silas passed, didn't he? Me? Oh, he takes half. Fuck. Oh, Stupid. Half. All right. That's his turn. The Catoblapas, which is a really fucking ugly creature. Smelly too, I assume. Is that why you didn't notice anything? You went up and, p- and poked it? You're just used to that kind of smell? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it smells yeah. like home. I thought maybe it was poop. So I was like, oh, <laughs> big pile here. <laughs> okay, you are immune to its stink because you already succeeded. However, it is going to use its death ray on you. Damn. Um, I need you to That's make bad. a constitution saving throw. Uh, do I have any benefit on the con save? Maybe. <laughs> Magic resistance. I don't understand why this thing has a move called death ray, but it does. What's the save again? Sorry. Constitution. Well, it is a dark type Pokemon. No, so. I don't have don't have a benefit there. Constitution save. 
a 12. Okay. Um, Ouch. So you take 31 necrotic damage. Oh. Wow. Uh, These are no joke. Well, that one is. No. I'm just mm. waiting the leprechaun. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually a leprechaun. <clears throat> Much better smelling. Yeah. Oh, da, 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 da. that fight would have been a lot harder if his minions weren't trash. Yeah, I'm sure. Sirene was just one shot on him. Yep. I mean, she did. 55 damage in one hit. That's crazy. So if I fireball, I can get both of these guys without hitting Baruch, I think. Yeah, you can. Alright, let's do that. Man, this guy hates nature. He does. I fireball everything. He's not in a cave, he wants to blow it up. It's like toward the end of the day, like, well, we didn't get any fights today. He just blows up a few trees. <laughs> <laughs> wow, high roll. Even though this guy here is attacking me, I'm like, oh, I can fireball that way. Yeah. Throw it over. Just fucking death raid you, and you're like, eh. <laughs> oh, I killed that one? Mm-hmm. Holy... Wow. Uh, 31 damage. This guy. Yeah. A lot of damage, I suppose. Yeah. That's I mean... it. Oh, that's it. <laughs> you guys need to do, do some of your own work. <laughs> <laughs> Yarrow's the only one taking damage today, by the way. I know. It's their tank. 13 Definitely can't misses. hit anything. Damn. There you go. Oh, that hits. Nice. Hey, kill shot. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> mm, to kill. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to move here. I'll move here and then. Okay, good job. Done. Love slayers and monsters. <laughs> oh no, Brooke's here. <laughs> hey, evil <little> bird. <laughs> that should be your catchphrase. You need to just say that to everyone we meet. Hey, little bird. No, hey, I'm a bird. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm a bird. <laughs> me, I'm going to give that to me and I'm going to twin it and give this to Ryan to Yarrow. Yep. Should I re-roll it? Okay, just take that. 13. Just take it and enjoy your day. <laughs> uh, do I have to go first, or can Silas go before me? Um, Silas can only go before you if you use your bonus action to command. All right, I'll do that. Silas, go to the south side of the monster. And attack him. Tyler salutes and runs. Er? <laughs> um, let's see. What is pack? Does pack tactics come into play here? Yeah, for him. Uh, yeah. Cool. So he's got advantage. What the fuck? Whoa! Wow! Did he get him? Get the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> um, for the prone thing. Does his size matter? Like, no, is he big question. enough where he doesn't get knocked prone? Um, doesn't say. It just says if the target is a creature. Well, we gotta fix that. But there might there might be better instruction somewhere. I think we edit that, that it's got to be a medium or smaller. It doesn't make sense that he can attack a creature bigger than him and knock it down. Yeah, I agree. If the target is a medium 
or smaller creature. That's a little overpowered if he can just fucking run around knocking dragons down. Yeah. Uh, and then I will go to the other side of him, so that now I have advantage. Attack. Yeah, it hits. 20 hit? Yep. I'll do a uh, Divine Smite with that last one. Okay. Damn. It's just shitty roll. One and a two. All right. Sirene. Serena. <laughs> I had really never noticed how close that was to her name. Uh, I'll be right back. So you use your bonus action to dash. Oh, wee wee. Oh, that's where Travis is going. <laughs> now he's getting me ice cream. What? I want some. You missed. Fucking. <laughs> um, and now I can't do my sh- my offhand because I already used my bonus. Yeah. Oh my god! I th- guess that's all I can do, right? Yeah. Holy! This is not normal for me. No, it's not. <laughs> Why does it say it's charged? This is charged. I used it. Oh no. Okay, it's gonna use death ray on Yaro again. Con save. Con save. Let's see if I get any better. Oh no, I'm gonna use my own inspiration. Okay. Yeah. So I just wanna show you what would have happened if you had failed. Where am I? Oh, I would have survived. No, you wouldn't have. Oh. Oh, oh. 64. Oh, shit. And? Damn. Target dies? Yeah, if you fail by five or more, you take 64 damage and die. <laughs> Since your max hit points is under 64. With a DC of 16 and the fact that you rolled a 12 the first time, I was like, holy shit! Damn. <laughs> almost... Did I miss anything? That's right. Almost, almost bit it. Who? It almost killed Yaro. Oh, jeez. But because you succeeded, you only take 14 damage. <laughs> yeah, read, read that ability, Travis. And see that he rolled a natural 1 and they used his uh, inspiration. Glad I did. Wow. Can you revive someone from necrotic damage like that? Yeah, you can revive him. It didn't um, it wasn't saying it was gonna disintegrate him. It just says he I, If he got disintegrated, sunlight? no you can't revive him. He's gone. Not it's not no, just it's healing not though, right? It's it's uh, okay. like actual revivify or one of those spells. Yeah, revivify could bring you back, yes. Yeah, okay. Did you use inspiration to roll again? Yeah, I used my own inspiration. He rolled a natural one. Yeah. I was like, oh, wow, he's dead. Oh, uh, so maybe she didn't bound, bound full luck to you? No. I oh, did yeah. it pretty quick. So. Ah. Um, Here, Travis, hmm. go fuck yourself. <laughs> She's eating ice cream. <laughs> Where'd she get that? <laughs> That's what I went and ran and got for her oh, how during her turn. Knows? I said I'd be right back. Yeah. And then what? <laughs> and then now I'm back. She's got ice cream now. Yeah, but I don't. Oh, sorry. He specifically requested some. Uh, I guess I'm just going to attack him. I don't know. All right, good idea. Probably miss. 
That hits. His AC is only 14. Guys. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, and I know what I should have done instead of that. That was stupid of me. It was. You take 150 damage. Oh, no. And go directly to hell. Can't help. Oh, really? What are you doing, though? I was just reading. I was, I was like, I should have tried the monster ball on him. Oh, no. <laughs> No, oh, that's, that's right. all. Um, okay, no, it doesn't matter. Never mind. No, yeah, you be... could have monster balled him, you idiot. Yeah, that was stupid. What's the limit uh, on uh, how strong it can be? Uh, it's going to be targets challenge ratings equal to or less than one third of your character level rounded down. Oh, one third? No, this is, it's, it's CR5. You wouldn't oh, be able okay. to get it. Oh, sorry. You, you, you would have had to. You'd have to be level fifteen. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't want you to be able to get fucking ridiculous creature. Okay. What level are you right now? Uh, seven. 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 Okay, so you could only get a two right now, anyway. No Charizards for you. Right. I do like the idea of him a being a creature that keeps setting him on fire. <laughs> he can get a goddamn beedoof. <laughs> he, ca he catches an actual gopher. <laughs> <laughs> He's my HM slave. Fly, beedoof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the gopher can fly. Uh oh, Daphne's about to go. I love that video of Dodo. Oh, oh, she did. Oh, wow. Good hit. Good oh, hit. damn. Damn. What? what the fuck? Fuck you guys. <laughs> oh, this game sucks. I'm going to bed. I did it. <laughs> I'm going to play Hungry Hungry Hippos. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you guys win again. I hope you feel good <laughs> about yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Your reward for winning this fight is absolutely nothing because they're just monsters. They don't have anything. Aww. Damn it, Yarrow. That this was poop. Sucks. I don't know. So you got you had to go. You wanted to go poke it. I don't know. It looked weird. That was some hey, weird some things that smell kind like of that. poop. Poke things that look like treasure next time. You know what sucks too is that the the smelly thing only happens if you start your turn within ten feet of him. And literally, Yarl was the only one that got hit by that, because everyone else ended their turn within 10 feet, but never actually started their turn within 10 feet. Even Daphne started 20 feet away that turn. Oh. Uh, I was, like, waiting incredible. for somebody to get hit with the stank. Oh. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we really metagamed it. Staying away from him. Start the turn. He didn't meta. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking? Did we meta game it? Did anybody meta game it? Besides <laughs> Ryan, being an idiot. No, you. All right. <laughs> um, my next question is, Cyrene, do you want to stop and port Celis for any reason? Put your ice cream down. Collect your thoughts. <laughs> no. Okay. Do we know anything about Port Celis? Uh, None of your fucking business. Uh, make an Do we remember? Check. I was gonna say, did she tell us anything? She didn't know. Pretty smart. Um, I don't think she's told you anything. But I I have. you pick up on her acting different as you pass by that town. Hmm, Tyreen. What's the matter? You know what's much the, about that town? What's the matter? Nothing. Yeah. It's just I'm a little package. You haven't made anything good to eat in a while. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just don't, I don't want to talk to you. Okay. I just shrug and walk off, I guess. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I say I go to Yarl. Cyrus, uh, Cyrene, Cy Cyrene is a little crabby. Yeah, that's kind of strange reaction. All right. I guess I'll go hunt something to make. I dinner. can hear you. Oh. Shit. Now I fought a lot of monsters, but they don't scare me as much as she does. Especially when she's hungry. And yeah. she's hideous. <laughs> and she's hideous. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I thought your food's been good lately. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I need to add some extra cheese to her, her plate. <laughs> Here's your chicken with extra cheese. All right. Def hey, Daphne. Yes. Do you know what's wrong with her? Nope. Do you think you, maybe you could ask? She doesn't seem to like nope. me very much. Oh, okay. Nope. I just feel like maybe it could help understand why she's so crabby. I think if she wanted to tell you, she would. Mm. Alright. Alright, moving on. A couple hours into your travel on the sixth day, you come upon a small Gardenian fortress. It is occupied by a number of humans, high elves, and halflings. They don't seem to be interested in bothering you at all, and appear to be quite relaxed. Do you want to interact with them, or just continue? This is this mm. is at the at the border, by the way. Uh, you guys want to interact? Might be able to figure out if they know anything about what's happening. How far away is this? Tornduth? It's like right here. Yeah, maybe they have heard of it. Yeah. Chat with them, why not? They're all male, female, yes. unknown. Yes. All of the above? Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hello there. Uh, hello. Well, what's going on? Um, not much. We're passing through it. Have you heard about that dome passed through here? What? Dome? What are you talking oh, about? Yeah, I haven't heard of it, huh? I don't know. What dome do you mean? Um, there's a magical dome that has, uh, you know, kind of popped up over the border over there. Pop up over the border. No? Mm. Can't think of you say I've heard anything like that. Oh, alright. What are you guys up to? Just, uh... Minding our post. Anything interesting happening lately? Nope. There's never any trouble with Festus. They, uh... The Festians like to fight, but... That's typically against, uh... The desert clans of Dragonborn, the Tabaxi, and the Raptor folk of the Baklavian Desert. Mm. Oh. They fight, attack them a lot or something? Oh yeah, they fight all the time. I mean, if they didn't, mm. the uh, desert tribes would uh, try to raid into their lands. So, it's been mm. uh, forever since we've had any conflict with them. What do the desert tribes want? Food. And, and there's not enough to go around, Festus? I mean, I guess there could be, but, like, they, like, try to kill people and take stuff, so. Ah, uh, yes. You, you, you know, we wouldn't allow that if other people were doing that to us. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But nothing on this border really happens? Not really. That's good for you guys. You, you see, you see, six guys like start playing volleyball. Yeah, I see, you guys are pretty relaxed. Oh yeah, this is a great post. Way better than being on the uh, the Baelish border. That place sucks. Uh, it's not really? too bad. Oh, uh, sorry, dude. No wonder the desert people are attacking. Never, never mind. Um, <clears throat> huh? So nothing about the dome, huh? 
I don't really have any idea what you're talking about. Huh. All right. That's fine. Well, we're going to pass through. No problem. Go ahead. All right. Anybody, uh... Anybody want to talk to him at all? No. Oh, are you grumpy? Are you fucking talking to me? Yes. I'm going to suggest you rethink what you just said to me. Well. No. I tried to jump on him and scratch him. I uh, ignore it as if she's not there. Right. Uh, make an acrobatics check. And Nelios make an athletic check. Oh boy, yeah, she just gets like stiff armed. <laughs> <laughs> she like tries to do a flip up onto your back, and you like catch her head in the air and just put her <laughs> back on the ground. <laughs> All right, and then I and then I ride up ahead, we'll carry on, but from like ten feet ahead of the group. All right, as as we're going, that's just like ten feet. Nah, I'm not gonna do anything. That might hey, be hey, Cyrene, where where are you from anyway? I know where everyone else is from. Oh, but I don't know why does just why does it matter where I am from? Well, it's one of you from Festus. No. Okay, not. Bestest. What can you say? What continent you are from? Okay, fine. Wait, I'm way up ahead. Can you tell us what continent you are from? Hey, <laughs> everybody! I am from Port Palace, and I am just really sad because I don't want to be here. I would rather be at home, and I just I didn't want to go there because I miss my family, and I would miss them more when I had to leave. I am sorry. I am so grumpy. Oh. oh. All right. That makes sense. What'd you say? I understand. Port, port what? Gravis. Port Celis. Oh, Celis. Celis, Celis, Celis. Celis with an F. Celis. Not Festus. Hmm. Correct. We could stop there on the way back. Oh no, I don't know. Maybe I just I feel like it'd be too painful. You don't know how you got your your God-given gifts, right? No, I do not. Well, maybe it could help you learn something if you went back there. Oh, alrighty. I suppose. Maybe on the way back. All right. If I could, though, know, I swear to God, nobody better say anything. <laughs> Alright, deal. I assume they have good fish there. Oh, like you wouldn't believe. Hmm. Yes, I would like to see this fish. <laughs> I would like to see this fish. Mm. Yes, we Sounds have delicious. one prized fish that we all look at. Do you have a big oh. family there? So I've got, you know, mother and and uh, father, and we we they have an inn and. I worked. I worked at the inn with my family, and just I just miss them. So you you worked at the inn with your family. You said yes. Hmm. Are there any siblings? What's that? Any siblings? I am trying to remember if I had siblings or not. All right, take a second. <laughs> remember your backstory. Do you remember where you wrote it? I'm trying to find it. Might be on D and D Beyond. Mm -hmm. 
I think we filled it out on D&D Beyond at least. Or we emailed it to Joey. Well, then I'm looking okay. through my messages to Joey because I don't see it in D and D. Sorry, guys, I had to pee several gallons. Okay, so she's looking past. up some of her backstory. Uh, she can't find it. She doesn't remember where she wrote it. I, I found it. You don't take notes every session. Come on. Well, she wouldn't have to take notes of her own backstory every session. Yeah, but I mean, you would have a note thingy if you did. Yeah, but my note thingy doesn't have my backstory in it. Why not? That's a good question. But- Yes, I, I do. I do have the blanks. I have two. Do they know where you are? Yes. Hmm. Who taught you how to fight? I don't know. I just have always been pretty scrappy. You stole food from your end, didn't you? If you keep it up, I'm going to steal food from your face. I did not steal it. I took it. For free. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, let's go check out this dome. How much time is left in the day? Um. Noon. It's noon. It is All right. It's almost dumb o'clock. Let's go. Okay. Uh, a mile later, you come to the actual border. There is no elaborate fence or line or anything, just a sign written in several languages, which indicates that you are leaving Gardenia and entering the southeast quadrant of Festus. About, <clears throat> about a mile after that, you come to a small wooden structure with a sign written in common, giant, and festian. It says, Southeast Quadrant Barracks 7. There is no one around, and there doesn't seem to have been any recent activity. It's just a building with 64 beds, with mattresses, and nothing else. Must not be much going on here based on those other guys and this. Yeah. I don't know anything about Festus. Me either. Wait, are you lying? I don't think so. You're from here, aren't you? (laughs) You're not very smart. I know. I'm not. We We all know this. Remember when I was trying to read that book and it was back or upside down? It was backwards. Oh. See? Daphne, you're not from Festus, are you? No, nope. she's from toward you, right? Up in the wild Blue wilds. area. Blue wilds. I'm from Gardenia. Yeah. Uh, I don't see you. You're not from... Uh... Port Salas, are you? Me? Yeah. No. Okay. He's up north, I think. I'm at I'm at the border of the Blue Wilds. Got it. Where are you from again, Brook? Four Clove. In uh, That's right. Four Clove Island. Yeah, I remember now. I want to see the whole map. Do it. Yeah, you can just click on it. Did you guys click want to split it. up the money? How do I? What do you mean? Uh, like yeah, let's split, let's split up the money. Uh, I don't see it either. I think it's easier that way. There's a world map. 
No. I don't see it on there where it usually yeah. is. No. It's only got title page and Festus. What? Well, it's, there's a quick way to split up the money, isn't there? Yeah. Um, on the bottom right there. But currency among party. You thought pop. But currency among party. Okay, then everyone's check marked. Boom. Nice. Okay, Me. you guys can do it now. Sorry. You guys are welcome. There it is. And selfish. How many are there? Five of us? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you said some weird but, number before, and I just kind of. I was giving money to the wolf. <laughs> the wolf deserves it here. Uh, yeah, the wolf does deserve it. You're right. It's the wolf's share. You're right. He does deserve his share. <laughs> Silas, I'll carry your money. <laughs> He's sending money on him anyway. So, what was the place we were all asking about? Corn Tooth? Or you mean Port Ses? What is it? Port Celis? Yeah, yeah. Port Yeah, it's in Gardenia. What are you? What are you asking, Teresa? Torn tooth? No. A dome? Oh, Port Salas. Okay, yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, we, we just passed it. Yeah. yeah, we just passed it. That's where. I know. Um, I was trying to. I was. I don't know. I was just confused. I'm like looking okay. up north for some reason. You're you you're from up north. I'm from yeah, like Alarnus Forest. Yeah. The borough at the top. That's where I live. Yeah. Is it pretty peaceful up there? You said you can fight monsters, right? Yeah, we we would guard the border. What kind of monsters do you get up that way? All kinds. Dragons? No. Uh, no. We cast monsters. Uh, mostly giant versions of animals uh, and lots of different types of spiders. Ugh. Alright, you can Ooh. keep that. It was peaceful, though, when there were no monsters. But it's usually, um, like, giant beasts and monstrosities. Nothing particularly weird. <clears throat> mm. Okay. All right. Carry on. Okay. Um... A little before noon on the seventh day. You approach uh, a large intersection um, with a road that's heading north to south. You see a humanoid skinning a deer a short distance from the road. As you get closer, you see that it is Grubble, the old but hale and hearty goblin with a white beard. He's the guy you played uh, dice with that one time. Oh, yeah. You played dice? Yeah, he's a, he's an, he, he had caught a deer, I think, and uh, he shared it with you and you cooked it, and I think you fucked it up really bad. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all I have written down is grubble older goblin man. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> He's strong, like the guy from um, Dragon Ball. Roshi, Roshi. Yeah, Master Roshi. Master Roshi. Yeah. Okay. How well did we know him? Just, just like a like Queens. Yeah, I mean, you met him. You just played dice with him one night. Mm -hmm. All right. He slept, slept with a. Where, where, where what? Camp. Where did we meet him? You slept with him. I had to rephrase what I was going to say. Your your first time on the way to Balistan in Balaam. Okay. That was almost right. a year ago at this point. Rubble, is that you? Oh! Yeah, it's those students. How are y'all doing? Good. Surprised to see you out this way. Oh, I travel all over. I mean, this is one of the main roads, after all. 
true. And, and, and where are you heading? Remember, as you're traveling, you're seeing people all the time. So it's not like you're never seeing anybody and then you see this guy. Like, Okay. Oh, here and there, you know, I uh, I just go wherever the wherever the gods lead me, you know. Yeah, you didn't come by chance come from the west, did you? Uh, the west, yeah. Did you notice the dome? <laughs> you mean Torn Tooth? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're adding there. Anything you could tell us about us about it? Uh, most people steer clear. It's no one who's ever gone in's ever come back. Okay. How long has it been there? Oh, since the Great Break. Mm, okay. You ever gone by it? Which, which like means, close to it? Which means more than a thousand years. I didn't realize it was there that long. Uh, you didn't ask. True. What'd you say? I asked him if he's ever gone close to it. Nope. Do they just kind of leave it unguarded at this point? Yeah. I'm, what, why would you guard it? Um, in case some anomaly happens. Well, nothing's happened in a thousand years. Any idea how big it is? Uh, yeah, it's like, I don't know, two miles wide. Okay. Well, no point in asking too many questions. We're going to be there so shortly anyway. Yeah, it, it actually, uh, it's sitting right in the middle of the road, so people just kind of pick a side and go around it. Um. Hmm. Uh, how many people do you reckon have gone in there? Well, I, I wouldn't have any clue because anybody who went in didn't come back. Is there any local theories about it? Uh, yeah, a lot, lots, but you know, there's no reason for any of them to be right. It's been there for so long. True. What happens if you throw something in tied to a string and then you pull the string back? Mm -hmm. You get the piece of the string that didn't go through? Mm. Mm. Sounds bad. But he wouldn't know that. He didn't say that. He doesn't fucking have a clue. <laughs> probably, He's right. never gone near it. Fuck you, Chris. Tricked him. Good job, Chris. Smart job. His, his dick gets bigger. Oh, no. Chris's? Yeah, you should go in. I think it's bigger whenever I get advice from a goblin. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of a reverse Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Uh, all right. Um, anything else going on to the west here? See anything interesting? Nope. You ever go near the desert area? Uh, yeah, I've been near it, sure. Is it pretty dangerous over that way? I'd imagine so. It's desert. Well, I, I've heard the border's pretty, uh, you know, a lot of conflict going on down there. Yeah, but the Festians love to fight, so. Uh. What else is Festus known for? Tequila? Yeah. Hold on, I've got a list. There are wood bridges. Let's see. Tequila. Spicy food, fighting, just kind of reading through stuff here. Um, food made out of cactuses, 
Um, camel races. Uh, perfume. Is this whole area pretty dry? Uh, not here not here. No, oh, this is pretty. Pretty normal, normal green. Yeah. Okay. So the it rings. Yeah, that's about all I can kind of come up with in the in the moment here. Oh, they're also known, um, they have the world's most secure prison. Ooh. Where is that located? Uh, near the Blue Wilds. It's called Seratic Prison. Mm. Um, that one guy got sent there. Remember there was like, they took that guy's magic away? Mm. That, that mm -hmm. murderer? Oh, yeah. and he, got, he got sent to Seratic Prison. Huh. Um, now that you've asked about it, I will add it to your map for next time, but it's on, it's on the end of that road at the top, that dead end there, gotcha. that, that's Seratic Prison. Hmm. So I gotta add Torn Tooth and Seratic Right prison. by the desert? Yeah, in the, yeah, okay. right there. I'll add both of those huh. to your map for next time. I'll be right back. All right. What uh? What is there a certain god that people around this area are more devout to, or um? Are they? Are they it's just kind of every person has a different. Yeah. Well, yes. Every every country is a little more toward one god or the other. Let me. Uh, for whatever reason, I wasn't prepared for you guys to actually be interested in this stuff, so I didn't get ready. So hold on here. Um, okay, Festus. Um, would be a gnat, Gulvir, Julissa, and Kirstus. Okay. Cool. Um, <clears throat> and then religious. I want to just look and see if I can see high-ranking religious people, like what they have in this country. Um. <laughs> Just a second. You guys get those gods? Yep. Yeah. Annette, cool. Golvir, and Alyssa, and Kirsted? Kirst Kirstis? 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 I don't know. Say Julissa? Yeah, Julissa. Okay. Um, Julissa, yeah. Actually, the Cardinal of Sormes is in Festus. Cardinal is the highest ranking church official. Um, they have an Archbishop <laughs> of Ergates. The Cardinal of Gulvir.
Um, Archbishop of Kerstus. Archbishop of Elden. Archbishop of Benvir. Uh, the Cardinal of Delga. That's all of them. All the all the big village people they have in this. Okay. They're, they're kind of spread around, but the big the, the three big nations on the on the mainland here have the most religious officials, just because there's the most cities. Some of those people I haven't decided where they live yet, so that's why I didn't give a list of cities for all of those people. I intend to create more cities as we play, too, so. Okay. I mean, because right now I've only cool. got four, four towns in the entire country, like that. You know. What is going on? I can't eat my face. I, oh, I thought you were burping into the mic. I'm, I'm typing, but it keeps eating my face while I'm typing, and it's really hard to do stuff when both my hands are on. The mm, yes. Is it the, is it the purr? Is he purring? He bite me. He <laughs> bite my <laughs> microphone and the cord and stuff. I get pretty happy when I bite <laughs> this. True. It's very satisfying. He tastes like butter. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> Just say popcorn, too. <laughs> I just had some popcorned butter. <laughs> butter with a side of popcorn. <laughs> he dips his butter in popcorn. <laughs> it's a stick of butter. He dips it into buttered popcorn. <laughs> I also put M and M's in butter. M and M's in Damn, butter. Uh, God toast. Anybody want a smoothie? It's M and M's and butter. <laughs> no, he just sticks a bunch of M and M's into a stick of butter and then bites it. Right. Eats it, it like a sausage. Eats it like a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mm, sandwich. He's got. Uh, he he sticks it into a bun, but the bun's made out of salami. <laughs> Uh, can't believe he actually does all that. Yeah, it's all true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, we're all here. Smashy's back. I think we asked all our, our questions. Yeah. So the, really, the question is: Do you guys want to play any dice with him, or you just want to move on? I don't give a shit. Just in case anybody wants to play a dice game, quick. Let's play one dice game. Or no, because everybody gets to... You do a lot of money. Go on, play a dice game. For all time sake, yeah. What did you just say? For old time's sake. For old time's sake, okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I had no idea what the fuck he said either. I thought he said, roll time spake. Yeah, that's what I heard. Uh, Alright, what do we do to play? Trying to find... Didn't I have a thing on games? In the rules? Um... I'll Google it. Dice Game D&D. Oh, shut up, Travis. I'll Google <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, shut up, Travis. <laughs> uh, I don't know, that was at the casino. Come up with rules for a D and D. There you go. Just put in the. All right, yeah. Let's just, let's play. Let's play Gardenian Path. Let's play Gardenian Path. Um, All right. Everybody's got lots of money now, right? I mean, yeah. No. Grubble, how much money does Grubble have? Yeah, whoever's whoever's All playing right. fifty gold. Holy shit balls! Okay, it. I want to play. 50 gold. Subtract 50 gold from whoever's playing. I'm not playing. That's too good. Yeah, hard. I'll do it. I played. Okay. I'm playing. All right. Everybody, everybody roll 3d6. Three, three, six. One. 
So it's everybody except Travis? Seems that way. Right. Lois Roll wins, right? Nope, Lois Roll's out. So, um, Baruch is out. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Yeah, everybody, on the drain. everybody roll again. This is this is the game Lois Roll is out. No. Uh, there goes Yarrow. That's a lot of 11s. Yarrow's dead. Elevens. Yarrow's out. Okay, three people left. 3d6. Holy shit. Oh. Grubble's gonna win. Uh, yeah, so, uh, what the hell's your name? Daphne's Sorry. out. It's just Cyrene and, and Grubble. Grubble will be the Grubble richest won. man around. Oh, Grubble oh. wins! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Wow. That, that was Grubble. Dumb. I told you guys we should have moved on. Sorry, guys. You win some, you lose some. What do you do with all the money, <laughs> Grubble? Uh, don't know. Didn't expect to win. Double nothing. 200 gold. <laughs> oh, Baruch wants to go double or nothing. Uh, all right, Baruch. One roll. You versus me. 200 gold. Wow, let's see if I can. Like less favor for a god or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, attack rolls. What's going on? Um, He's gonna pray to his god, I guess. Hmm. Okay, we'll do it. God, you're All right, hold school. on. Let me roll first. Let me roll first. Let's see what you got to beat. Oh, oh, no. 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 Oh, oh my god. Are you serious? Oh, fucking That's hell. Insane. Oh my god. That is unbelievable. Come on, gods. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Damn. All right. Well, I gave you guys 10,000 gold this session. I've already got 400 of it back. Wow. Damn it. Should have taken the item. Well, not that strong looking, is he? You're going to rob him? You're going to. Yeah. Oh, I'm just kidding. I mean, <laughs> we <could>. Irene. <laughs> All right, next time we see you, you better have something nice for us. Sure. Oh, I don't. I have some kind of uh, swiping. Is it swipe? I say, I say telepathically <laughs> to Cyrene, and I say, steal it back. And I and I stand in front of him, and I say, do you think you could take this axe hit to your shoulder? The hell are you talking about? Like, do you think if I swung at this, because you're pretty strong, you think if I hit you with it, you could take it? No. You want to see? I just start no. talking on him. Then go. Me? Yeah, you. What do you mean? I'm too depressed. I cannot steal anything right now. What are you talking about? Let us go. All right. <laughs> Fine, girl. Aww. We'll try next time. <laughs> I am sorry. I will what? steal from you later. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing, it's mine. <laughs> I'll All steal right. from you later. <laughs> oh, was, I cannot believe that just happened. Holy shit. That's what you guys get for having my boars roll like crap. <laughs> Damn. My boars. Can, I, can I walk by him and try to steal something? If you want. Can I? Because I have the... The swipe action. Everybody has a swipe action. Oh. I guess she didn't really? hear you say that the first time. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. you so what I do? Just first? roll? Um, yeah, make a sleight of hand check. What happens if I fail? He catches, she catches you, you, and then whatever happens after that. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Okay. We could just kill the goblin and take the money back. Yeah, I, I would do it. No, no, no. I don't want to kill him. 
My, my axe is pretty hungry for I blood. Respect this man too much. For blood. Oh wait, you guys tricked me to be on the wrong map. The Festus map. Okay. Okay. Um, gonna hit up the strip club, yeah. All right. Afternoon on the eighth day. Um, you see a flat, tidy, fenced-in area ahead, and at first believe it to be some kind of small farm plot. But as you get closer, you recognize it as a simple cemetery with flat stones marked with poorly chiseled names. Near the back of the cemetery stands a lone figure with a cloak. It appears to be a humanoid, but from the back, your vision is obscured by the cloak so it's hard to tell. The figure is near an open grave, though you don't see any coffins waiting nearby, nor any kind of funeral procession. Mm. Does Does everyone... this one out? Yeah. Mm, or someone else can. He looks no, pretty, no, no, you're pretty good at it. Uh, it didn't work out so well last time. Well, I mean, you did great. Right, I will go. Don't, but I don't know if we should let her go. She might just jump in. Hello, hello. The figure. I start walking over. The figure does not turn around. I'll just keep walking and saying hello, hello. Is anybody there? Yes. What do you want? I'm busy. I just was wondering what you were doing, if you needed any help. I don't know. You looked kind of sad over here. The figure pulls his hood down and turns around to face you. And you see a quite large, all-black pelican with red eyes. And... He says, I am marking the passage of this lost one. Oh, I am so sorry for your loss. Be not sorry for me. It is not my loss. Do we all All see that it's a pelican man? Yeah. He looks like me. Uh, Baruch, do you, what do you think of Pelican Man? I miss I missed all the context about why he's there. I don't I don't know. He's what? something about a lost one. He's helping. It you know I don't. <laughs> what he's saying doesn't really check any boxes for me. He's probably touched by a god. He could be. It's very cryptic, I think. Maybe I want to motion over to the the group just to sort of come over. All right, I'll come over. Yeah, I'll go. You all walk a path of darkness. I see much death around you. You some kind of oracle? fortune teller even though a pelican can't smile he he seems like he smiles for a second and he says sure something like that are you a good person (coughs) sorry the the cloak falls away and you see that he's not a pelican man he's a big pelican What do you mean? He's an actual pelican? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Doesn't look like me. It's interesting. Um, He says, good? I don't know what you mean. Everything lives uh, and everything dies when its time comes. There is no good. 
There is no evil. Are you Benvir? Yes. Ah, I called uh, it. Uh, Damn it. <laughs> Big fan. Big fan of you. <laughs> yes, you are slowly insightful for one who appears to follow me. Uh, I fall to the ground and, you know, grovel. <laughs> 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 None oh, of that man. is necessary. I do not think so much of myself that I need anyone to act like that around me. Um. Wow, a real god is in front of us. Um, do you visit here often? I visit all over all the time. I mark the passage yeah. of those who die and move them on to the next life. Let's see. Uh, this might be an odd question, but do you know about Torn Tooth? He kind of looks at you and cocks his head a little bit. And in that moment when he does that, you notice now. You don't know when it happened, but the open grave is completely filled in. Mm. And he says, Torn Tooth. Yes. I know of that anomaly. Now, when people walk through the dome, do you help them pass through to the other side? That is a far more complicated question than you realize. Okay. Um, passing, so you're... passing through the dome doesn't kill people. Okay. Okay. Great. Good to know. Do you know what caused it? That's something I think you are bound to figure out for yourselves. Well, cool. I have so many questions. Well, I've been asking away. You take over. Okay. That did you give me this jewel that I found in the uh, the, the dusty mountains? No. No. Do you know what the the bishops are up to? The Benvir ones. He thinks for a moment um, while Joe looks up your backstory. Who's that guy we we uh from the boat? That was a priest. That was a weird guy. Building us the boat now? What? Oh the yeah. Okay. Um, that guy was like a superhero for Bedvir. <laughs> Far Faragon, I think it is. P H E R A G O N. Yeah. He says Yes, I have an idea. Oh, jeez. You don't approve, though, do you? I'm going to stop them. Everyone walks their own path. The things that they will do will happen. I see no need to interfere. Can you tell by looking at us whose powers were given to us? Yes. Yes. You know who yeah. gave her powers to her? I point to Cyrene. Yeah, me. Who did that to me? 
I know, yes. Do you care to share with the class? No. Hmm, all righty then. Any hints or clues? You will, you will find out when it is your time to know. All yeah. righty. That is great. Is there right. anything that you're supposed to tell us that you know that you're supposed to tell us that you can tell us? No. <laughs> Damn it. Is there anything we can do for you? Yeah. Yes. If you ever die, stay dead. Well, now I am certainly coming back. Well, then... You have no interest in doing anything for me, then. Why? What? You don't like revivify spells or resurrection spells? No. Uh, okay. Did you know that, Bar Baruch? Shh. Oh, sorry. Shut. He already day knows what you're going to do. X day on the e revivify ray. But if you were going to do that, he would know already, wouldn't he? I don't think he knows everything. No? He's right there. Do you worship him? He, he's gone. Oh, all right. He's he's right behind Baru. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Love> that. <laughs> <laughs> Is he taller than Baruch? Yes. <laughs> he's, he's he's quite tall. He's quite tall. He's he's not quite ten feet tall. Um. He, oh, damn! As you've been talking, like there, there, there keeps being little changes that, like, you aren't sure if it was always that way or whatever. When you walked up to him, he certainly only seemed to be like six foot tall, and then, like, when he took his cloak off, he definitely like immediately seemed bigger or whatever. And now he's like nine feet tall. Um, and he says, uh, "No one knows everything." Oh, can I ask you another question? My time runs short. Uh, yeah, I got a question too. When you're done, I just wanted to ask if <laughs> the sun like blotted out for a second or or two a while, like a year ago or something like that. Do you know anything about that? I that trust you, tell that us? you will figure it out when it is your time to do so. Damn it! How come you didn't save me? In that cave-in. I prayed to you for for days. Did you survive? No thanks to you. People live. People die. Time marches on. It's not my place to interfere. You think you could take Dogga in a fight? <laughs> I don't think you could. Elga and I would never have cause to fight. It's a cop out answer. He Don't talk back to Bedvir. He, he, spread, he, spreads, he spreads out his wings. And like stretches out his neck a little bit. And then starts to flap. And he lifts off and flies away. Wow. Wow. That was pretty what a, cool. What a jerk. Yeah, you're probably glad you didn't get saved by him, though, right? He doesn't deserve your, yeah. your fellowship. True enough. Not to, under, not, not to undercut Yaro's feelings. But being mad that the god of passing on into death didn't save you is kind of funny. <laughs> still, still how Yaro feels. Well, he he's just like, worships him so hard, like, you know what I mean? He's like, I'm trapped. Why won't the god of passing on to death save me? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> mining. He's, passed, he's the god of mining. Yeah, but he's not the god of mining accident saving. <laughs> Stupid that they worship him. I think to myself. <laughs> Sorry. 
And meanwhile, meanwhile, else, uh, meanwhile, Baruch is thinking it's stupid that they don't worship him. Does anyone else poop themselves just now? No. <laughs> what a lame guy he was. There's a there's a white stain spreading on Baruch's ass and his front. White. <laughs> <laughs> Dog is is much more terrifying. So. I don't know what was with all of his secrets. You know why wouldn't he just tell us things? It's just pretty rude, if you ask me. Sounds like he's into the whole. If he tells us things that could spoil the future, then something bad happens now or something. I'm not very smart. I don't know. Well, there's nothing that's bad, according to him. Not good, not bad. We should all just it's die. All, again. It's all time. Yeah, I guess he just wants us all to die. Some other god wants me to do great things. Yeah, maybe you should maybe. switch. My, uh, my lead is that other guy. Um, the guy who builds stuff. You like that guy? That guy? Yeah, that Hermes? guy's. Uh, He's pretty good. Didn't he give you something? Yeah. Get what he gave you. Is that a coin? Yeah, it's Armies. I like Armies now. Haven't you been a, a, fo- a, a follower of Benvir for like ever, though? It's very confusing times, okay? That's true. We've very confusing. I don't know what's going on these days. Definitely worship Sormies. He's way better. He's Are a you- justice. Do you follow Sormies? Uh, the Cardinal is. Yarrow? No. Is that who you got your power well, from? Well, I, I... No. Who'd you get your powers from? I got my powers from... I just looked it up earlier today. Uh, Mechlet, I think it was. Oh. Mechelt. Mechelt, I'm sorry. Thank you. What is he the god of? Deception and music. Goddess. Ah, oh, it's a goddess. Deception, huh? Yeah. You haven't been deceiving us, have you? No, never. Of course not. Mm, okay. Um, do I do I believe him? Make an insight check. Um, whisper me, Ryan, with either a persuasion or a deception. Cyrene, you see you see an amulet laying on the ground near the near the grave. I pick it up. Okay. I put it in the um, party inventory. Okay. Um, Travis, I am going to message you. Okay. Mm, okay. If you click the um the little I has additional game data button. You can see what it does. Oh, you found it. Yes. Sweet. Not attunement. Pretty sweet. Am I able to use this? Anybody can. Okay. Um. 
Right. Have a look at the grave you were standing by. Is there a stone there or anything? Yeah. I go read it if I can. Uh it says um just a name. Sella's truck. Looks to have been recently placed. How do you spell it? Well, I don't know. The, uh, do you guys want to talk to this person? I have this cool amulet now. Sure. Might as well test it out. Alrighty. I will use the amulet to cast Speak with Dead. Okay, so you're going to dig up the grave. Oh. oh. Okay. That would be rude, so no. Well, I can move the dirt around. Perfect. With my dirt spell. Well, if the follower of Benvir doesn't mind digging up a dead person, then... I don't I know. Be... It doesn't seem oh, right to me. But... If a follower of Benvir doesn't mind digging up a grave that was just buried oh. by Benvir himself, <laughs> he even wanted to do it, right? <laughs> but he already said he already know, knew everything that was going to happen. If he was really mad about it, he could have killed Baruch right there. You uh, have to say he knew everything that was going to happen. Oh, no. On the one knew... hand, it would piss off Benvir. On the other hand, I don't like digging his graves. <laughs> <laughs> I could care less about upsetting Benvir, but I don't like to make a habit of disturbing the dead. I say we do it. I one move time. the dirt from the guy's face. See? So, so, no harm. Okay. So you move six feet of dirt to get to the guy's face. There's just like a fucking hole. We're all peering down at looking at this man's face. Okay, sure. You use mold earth to dig out the guy's head. Okay. Look down at this. Oh god. Alright. What does he look like? Dead guy. <laughs> Is he human, dwarf, goblin? Uh, elf? He looks he looks like he might be human. All right. All right, let's do it. What are you going to ask him? Am I the only one that can ask him questions, or can other people ask questions, too? Or? I don't know. You'd have to post the spell. Just you. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Joe. <laughs> Is it not attached to the item? Um, Do you have a spell now, like in your spell oh, book? You you I think because you don't have it equipped. Oh. Press the little shield icon to equip it. Okay. Yeah, it's in your spell book now. Oh. oh. Yeah. I have questions. Just like the movie. Just like the movie. Yep. Um, and only you can ask the questions, and everything you say from now on, Smashy, is in character. All right, the everyone. Uh, the, what are your questions? Don't ask questions. The you question guess? is something you ask someone for an answer. Okay. All right. How did you die? I fell out of a tree. <laughs> oh man. Ask him if he knows Benvir. Do you know Benvir? No. Okay. Okay. So this is just what random. happens when you die. What happens when you die? 
I don't know. How many is that? Is that four? It literally says in the spell the corpse Three. knows only what it knew in life. Oh. Well, I didn't get a chance to read it all, so. Yeah, yeah that's not you, Joe. I think that's four questions, right? Yeah, yes, it is. One left. Um. Asking, him, asking if he's got any money anywhere we can have. Don't ask him that. Don't ask him that. Ask him about torn tooth. Something about it anyway. Okay. No, he doesn't know. Uh, Probably not. Probably just some random dude. Yeah. Um, Ask him where he's from. What town is he from? Or something. What is his historical significance? <laughs> what, what did you What did you do before you died? I was a carpenter, and the life disappears from him. And he's dead. I thought he was going to say he climbed a tree. He was a tree climber. Tree climber. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We learned a lot today. <laughs> you want to bury like, this guy just back like in yeah. the movie? Like, bury him. Great, Chris. Chris, you have an inspiration for saying that. I like that. And just like in the movie. I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was good. Yeah. Ryan didn't see it. Some people mm-hmm. didn't like that the main character like didn't cast any spells or whatever, and then people were like, yeah, but he was using bardic inspiration the whole movie. Weren't you paying attention? <laughs> and you're like, oh yeah, I guess he was. Like He kept encouraging people to do stuff, and then, they d- then they'd succeed. You're like, oh, yeah, True. he was, he was yeah. using bardic inspiration the whole movie. Time. Yeah. Also, he has a character sheet and if you look at it, all of his spells are talking spells. Like charm person and suggestion and stuff like that. So he may have been casting spells and we didn't even realize it. That'd be lame if they did it that way. You can assume he's casting a spell? I don't think it's lame. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have any inspiration for that, though? Um, okay, shortly after this interaction, you come to an intersection with a, with another road that heads north but does not head south. Um, you continue west from there toward Torntooth. Uh, just after noon on the next day, this is where we're going to end. This is the last event before you arrive at Torntooth. Um, you see the telltale dust cloud of something coming down the road toward you. As the travelers come into view, you are surprised by what you see. You've all seen soldiers before, most of the time in the form of city guard, but you've also seen border guards, various members of the Baelish military, and even a variety of Gardinian soldiers in Shavonio and Clupus. None of the soldiers looked like this. Eight identically dressed men in gleaming gold breastplates march toward you. They each carry a shield strapped to their left arm and have a spear in their right hand, and they appear to have packs of javelins strapped to their backs. They each wear a simple but well-constructed helmet, and they march in perfect synchronization at a fairly quick pace. They are all tall and very athletic. The largest ones are Goliaths, but the Asimar aren't much smaller. The smallest of them are the humans, but even they are very large, strong men. These are members of the Festian Legion, and they are the most highly skilled soldiers in the world. As they make their approach, they don't seem to be taking any kind of aggressive action, 
though when they get about a hundred feet away, they do suddenly stop. While one of the soldiers in front appears to be the leader, there didn't seem to be any kind of verbal or physical order to stop. Some, somehow they all just knew to stop at the same time. One of the men in front, not the leader, lays his spear on the ground and removes his helmet. He keeps his shield strapped to his arm and doesn't remove his pack. He then begins to walk toward you while all the rest of the man, men remain still. He says, Greetings and welcome to Festus. I am Particles, and we are the Iron Tooth Squad 6 of the Eastern Division of the Festian Legion. Might you be stood of Diaphanous Academy? Yes. Ah, fantastic. It is a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. I'm Nelios. Yo. Baruch! I am Cyrian. I'm Daphne. Yeah, is Teresa here? No. Hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Sort of. My headset died, so I'm using my laptop. Okay. Um He says Would you are you here on official business? Uh, yeah. 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 Ah, excellent. Yes, we don't know anything about uh, what you're up to, but we appreciate how important it must be if our nation has called in assistance from the Revered Academy. Thank you very much for coming. Um. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, is there anything else you could tell us about Torn Tooth? Ah, you've been relegated to assist with the Torn Tooth Anomaly. Interesting. Uh, yes, sir. The, the Torn Tooth Anomaly has existed um, over the the old town of Torn Tooth um, for more than a thousand years. No one knows what caused it, or what is powering it. And really, it's just a big mystery. Anyone who's entered it has never been heard from again. When, the, when was the last known person to have gone through? Oh. As far as I know, a hundred years ago. Okay. But, you know, there are always curious people. Someone could have gone in at any time. We don't keep an eye on it. Okay. Anything else weird about the area? Um, you know, no. magically? You answered that too quickly. Because if there were anything strange, we would take care of it. Okay. Has there been any weird activity around Torn Tooth lately? You just asked that. No. Ah. He what are you saying? Just to greet he, to he greet us, or uh... he he snaps his fingers, and the guy that had been marching next to him um, walks up and pulls a uh, a spear from his pack and hands it to the leader, and then and heads back. And he says, um, "No, we are patrolling the road. We were not sent to greet you. However." As it appears, we are the first group to come into contact with you since you have entered our country. Um, I want to present you with this. And he gives... Uh, who's in front? Me. Okay. <laughs> Ew, that's close. I almost wasn't in front. Okay, second. Uh, well. Oh yeah, I do already have it. He gives you a plus one spear. Sweet. I'll oh. put that into the party inventory. Good luck on your mission. I hope all goes well. <clears throat> and he heads back into formation. 
and they begin marching off down the road the way you came. Okay. I wanted to ask them if they tried the trick where they tied something to a to a rope and threw it in there and tried to pull it out. Do you really want to ask him that? No, I'm sure he's going to say what you almost had the other guy tell us. You never know. We should have. We should have <laughs> asked him about torn tooth. We did ask him about torn tooth. No. Oh. What? Are you being serious? No. I hate you guys. I'm so confused. You got me. I don't know what he means. Well, that's awful nice of him. For the spear, you mean? Yeah, yeah, just generally, I don't know. They seem nice. Reading yeah. us. Yeah. yeah, they seem, yeah, they seem alright. They seem like nice killing machines. It's a lot better of a sure. reception you got in Baelish, though. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that place. That's yeah. Awesome. Anyone who lives there sucks. Uh, I don't live in Baelish, then, so... Uh, Balaam, yeah, it's not Balish. Oh, Balaam. Yeah, no, yeah. No, I wasn't saying you. I was a big fan of Balaam the whole time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's an acquired taste. I mean, the mines are pretty sweet. I thought about popping those guys volleyball when we crossed the border there, but I think they would have noticed, so I didn't. You don't like volleyballs? He doesn't like well, no, they... Ins- they in- yeah, I hate sports, and, <laughs> and they insulted <laughs> Balaam. There's two strikes against them. Did you see how coordinated those guys were with the volleyball? <laughs> I thought you were going to talk about the crisp soldiers. <laughs> no, they didn't seem coordinated at all. They were just lazing around. Oh. These I've guys, seen you try to play sports before. Those guys, I mean, they had armor on, on and everything, but for the players, it would remind you of the Spartans. Yeah. He's, those guys look like they would, the, the, if they fought those Gardenian soldiers, that those eight guys could probably kill all 16 of the ba- uh, the Gardenian guys without taking a casual. Like, eight versus 16, they would kill all 16 and lose no one. That's what that's what they looked like. Okay. It looked like cool. they played volleyball topless all day. That's right. all they did. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Weird vibe there. Oh yeah, if they played if they played volleyball, there would be no survivors. Chris. Virtual I, dice poker. I finally got it to give me a dice game. Been nice. spending all night trying to dice game. <laughs> Alright. Um cool. Well, I assume we'll get to the dome next session. Yeah, we'll figure Hopefully. out who's taking that spear, or you can leave it in the parking lot. Oh. I don't give a shit. Uh, I mean, I would. Spears. I wouldn't mind it. Um, if anybody else need a range type weapon, that's good. Magic. Mm-hmm. What about you, Yara? Do you need a weapon? Well, the other thing that's is really... strength based. I think you may be the only. Strength uh, yeah, then I, I will say. Take one. I've got a crossbow, but yeah, that didn't, wouldn't do well for me. Strength of 10, strength of 18, strength of 13, strength of 10, strength of 6. I did all, I did work out for a while there. Maybe it would be good for me. <laughs> How do I take it from the part? Oh. No. Just your inventory. Oh. Sweet. I took it. Wow, Smashy, or not, who took the, yeah, Smashy figured it out way faster than Travis. What do you mean? She took, she took that necklace immediately. Well, you I was stumbled. looking for, well, because the splitting up the money was a button, so I thought that taking the spear would be a button. Oh, yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> True. All right, yes, yeah, so we wrong. will, we will arrive next time. I'm super excited. Guys, it's going to be a lot of fun. You just got to pay attention. Yeah. That's all. Uh, everybody do long rest. Just to right. get that out of the way. We gotta vote. Yeah, yeah. when we when we do t- when we do Torn Tooth next session, guys, you, you gotta pay attention. You, you have to take some notes, not a lot, but you're you're gonna wanna remember what's going on. And uh I, I'm really I'm really excited about it. I hope it's gonna be a lot of fun. Ryan maybe cut down to maybe one bottle of wine next Wednesday night. We did 
I feel, mm. I feel like these last two weeks we've had a lot of problems with people not paying attention for for portion. Next, this is next week I'm what? I'm traveling, but I think I'll be available at night. Okay. In the hotel. Well, let us know for sure as soon as you know. Um, is it the whole week? God, your dogs are low. It's uh, Tuesday through Friday. So I'm available Monday if, if you want to do Tuesday that. Tuesday but... through Friday. Does everybody want to play Monday instead? We might be late, Joe. We got that dinner. Oh yeah. Okay. No, we should just we should just don't know. say that. There's also the possibility Kristen will have the baby and it'll get fucked up too, guys. So when's that supposed to happen? Who knows? Could be any day, really. She hold it in. So if she has if she has the baby at the same point she had Harrison, that would be a week from today. <laughs> um, and she is already a week past Finn. Oh wow! So yeah, anytime. Because Finn was born at like thirty five weeks, and today was thirty six weeks and three days. Okay. So, so I guess she's ten days past Finn. Wow. So it really wow. could be at any point. Hmm. You know, you know, a sense for it by now. <laughs> I mean, no. I mean, Spidey sense. Two, two, two is not such such a big sample size that like it's not like I know when my car is going to run out of gas because it's happened a thousand times. I mean, I run out of gas. Once, maybe? I know You're when it's going to run out of gas. Yeah, but I had a Prius, so I just coasted it.